Hey, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do a day in the life of eating keto. Coming up next. Elizabeth Tannis of Low Carb here, and I am going today do a, I'm driving, but don't worry, I'm on like next to the cows. Um, I'm doing my day in the life of keto, and today is my day on the road. So here is my, um, the first thing I had is air. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was my Aldi pepperoni and mozzarella wrapped up together. I count those as one net carb. I had four of them, maybe five, four, four, four of them. Um, the pack was almost gone. My husband got to them before I did. So um, those were, and I already ate those. Those were one nut carb, carb, carb. And then I got my gherkins, my gherkins, my baby gherkins. I love these things, they're from Aldi. The jar is 95 cents. I'm obsessed. It does not have added sugar into it, um, which is awesome. And um, I got a bunch of them. This whole bag, one nut carb, one nut carb. How delicious, how delicious. Um, so I have that and then also on my road warrior day is my Pellegrino of course Because why would I not have Pellegrino in here? I probably will stop for a large coffee at some point and I just get that black sometimes I'll get it with heavy whipping cream Sometimes I'll add sugar-free products into it, but I have already had today a Trenta sugar-free coffee Excuse me, Trenta iced coffee with heavy whipping cream and three pumps of the sugar-free vanilla now I've talked about this in other videos. For me, sugar-free products stall my weight loss. So I am hyper vigilant about um, not having too many sugar-free products in one day. Also, for me, it awakens the bear, as I like to call it. It awakens those cells that have been dormant, and I don't like them awake. I like them asleep. <laughs> in terms of like cravings and stuff, they will awaken. So I don't want cravings. I want to have. I want to be on the keto plan, and I don't want to think about it. And that's one of the reasons why I love keto, is because I don't have to think about stuff. It becomes mindless in terms of like eating, which is awesome. Um, and I don't have those like cravings. At night, sometimes I still do. Um, that I don't know it's just I'm human and so I talk myself through that you know and I have tools in my tool belt to not indulge I was about to say engage indulge in that oh my gosh can you look at this beautiful view did you see that I don't know if it shows it's gorgeous it's mountains that are turned with the leaves from um, this is like my favorite view I love Virginia. Virginia is so beautiful. Okay, so I'm probably making you nauseous with my camera bouncing so much. So the other thing that I have today in my car uh, after I eat my gherkins is going to be my delicious Diet Coke. I'm really trying to, um, hold on, got to pay attention for a minute here. There's a car coming off my beautiful view. I'm really trying to, um, I've got pepperoni in my teeth. I'm trying to, like I just was talking about the sugar-free products, the same thing with Diet Coke. Y'all, I used to drink, and I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I'm going to be real. I used to drink three, sometimes four, super big gulps from 7-Eleven of Diet Coke. I know, you can gasp. And then I went to the doctor for anxiety, and they're like, how many caffeinated beverages are you drinking? And I'm like, three to four uh, big gulps from 7-Eleven a day of Diet Coke. And they're like, that might solve your anxiety problem. So I got off the Diet Cokes and it went away. <laughs> so anyways, if you're having super hyper anxiety, I'm not saying everyone's anxiety is from that, uh, but <laughs> that certainly helps mine when I get anxious. I'm like, how much caffeine have I had today? Um, but with a two year old and running multiple businesses, some days I just need extra caffeine. And today is one of those days. So, um, I got my Diet Coke. My plan for today, so it's noon, and I have a meeting at 1.30, so I'm trying to figure out, I did not super plan very well. This morning I was trying to get some things shipped out, and it just got away with me. So um, with my food prep this morning and yesterday was really busy. Um, I'm meeting with an agent for a TV show potentially, and um, it's just been crazy prepping for that meeting and getting things organized and blah, 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 blah. So, um, that's my plan for today is that, so I have my snacks in my car, I've got that, I'm just gonna kinda take it one meal at a time. Today my husband is also um, out of town for work, and so me, I'm basically a single mama today from with my son and figuring out what we're gonna eat. And I don't know what we're gonna eat for dinner, so I don't know. Yesterday we had Chipotle, which was awesome, and I may have that again today just because it was so filling. Like last night I was so full, I fell asleep, and I was like, oh, thank you. Like it was just so filling. 
Um, and I got chicken there, which I like to switch up my meats. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just get really sick and tired of beef. I'm like, no more beef. So I had chicken yesterday and it was great. And I'd like to maybe have some, oh my goodness, sweet Jesus. It was a farm truck that came by. It was a huge, what are they called? Combines? I don't know what they're called, combines. It just came by. <laughs> get it he almost got me okay so I was talking about um, what we're gonna have so today I need to figure out what I'm going to eat I'm going to maybe stop off at my favorite rotisserie chicken place guapos which I did not get last week and I'm seriously craving and it's not like your normal rotisserie chicken like the skin on it I don't know what they do with it it's super like crispy and delicious it's so good like if I was Peruvian I would make Peruvian chicken every single freaking day because it's so good and if I could figure out how to do it myself I would um, and maybe that's something I'm gonna try. We do have a we have a whole um, chicken in our freezer that we were gonna smoke on our smoker. We haven't gotten to it yet. So, anyways, oh, there's horses. Aren't they so beautiful? So um, I'm kind of going all over the map today, but it's just one of those days. Lots going on, and I've had a lot of coffee this morning, and maybe that's why I'm talking so fast. <laughs> but so let's get back to the task at hand. Keto, keto, keto. So for keto today, um, I'm gonna have probably a rotisserie chicken with a salad, and then tonight for dinner, I don't know. We are rebudgeting because I eat out a lot. I love to eat out. Like I really, really love it. Like really, I love it. But my budget does not love it. So we are recalculating our budget of what of what we're going to do and so for our budget our goal is to go out and make it ten dollars for my husband ten dollars for me um, and figuring out how to do that if we do go out and it's limited of when we're going to go out how we're going to do that so i may actually go to applebee's because i do have an applebee's gift card or i may go to ruby tuesdays because ruby tuesdays i have a gift card and a coupon just because I don't feel like cooking tonight. Like with my husband out of town, I'm like, Ugh, I don't feel like cooking. Does anyone ever get that way? Like I just don't want to. And um, I did not set my crock pot. Tomorrow I'm setting my crock pot. Um, and I probably will make my meatless, not my meatless, my um, beanless chili again. And it's so good and it's so filling. And you can put sour cream on top. But for today, rotisserie chicken and probably gonna go out to Applebee's and get that delicious meal or maybe Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is also on our rotation. I love Cracker Barrel. Um, because it's so simple. Minus the biscuits. Don't get the biscuits. My son loves the biscuits, but I don't get the biscuits. But I think that's about it. I've rambled on quite a bit, but I will show you my next food um, that I have for the day, but uh, wishing you a powerful day. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look amazing? And it came with salad as well. Oh my gosh, so good. Hi friends! Okay, it's getting later in the day. As you can see, my makeup wears less and less and less, and I need better lighting stat. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, so I am on the way home and I am hungry. I'm hungry, which means I didn't have enough fats earlier. If I'm feeling hungry like this, I did not get my fats properly. So, lesson learned. Each day I learn a little bit more. Um, but to, I stopped off at the gas station and I got a Coke Zero Cherry Coke, which I've had a Diet Coke today. I've had a sugar-free tent of coffee and I'm having this Coke Zero thing. So that's three drinks which tells me I need to stop after this and have my water hardcore no more no more anything other than water basically um, to flush my system because water is a good thing but so I stopped off at the gas station and I got these they are seasoned pumpkin seeds and y'all I'm a little confused my husband, husband and I have had a great debate so the question of the day that I would love for you to comment below are I always, and I feel kind of like an idiot, like one day, I, I felt, I just felt like an idiot because we're talking about it, about these, the, here's a pumpkin seed, right? Here's a pumpkin seed. I thought you just ate it whole and he's like, no, it's like a sunflower seed. You don't eat the whole sunflower seed, the shell, you break the shell off and then you eat the sunflower seeds. So he's saying that this is not what you're eating. You break off the shell of it and then you eat the internal seed. I felt like the biggest idiot when he told me that. I was like, no way, there's no way. So put below in the comments, do you eat this part or do you eat the shell inside of it? Am I the only one who is doing it incorrectly? Uh, I find it freaking hilarious. So here's this, but see, I just eat it with this shell, which is probably really wrong. But on the serving size, it says one fourth cup seasoned hold, hold, H-U-L-L-E-D, um, seed or one third seasoned seeds in shell. 
So I thought a hold, see, hold, hold, held, bold, hold, hold, H-U-L-L-E-D, to hold. You can also put that in the comments below. Apparently, I'm, I think I'm smart, but I'm really not. Um, it's a fourth cup of the hold seed and then one third of cup of the seasoned seed in the shell. And then it's saying for the carbohydrates minus the fiber is making it zero net carbs, which is freaking amazing. I don't know if that's right though. I just feel like that can't be right. I feel like that can't be right. So I'm going to have to investigate this. I'm going to have to investigate this further because I feel like it can be zero net carbs for the seeds. I feel like there has to be something because it's a seed. Anyone have the answer on this? <laughs> Just clueless. I'm supposed to be the friggin' expert and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know everything. There you go. Elizabeth does not know everything. But these things are freaking delicious. If I'm eating them the wrong way in the shell, if you've been doing that too, join my club. I'm going to start a new club, which is eating pumpkin seeds in their hold, hold, hold. I can't even pronounce that right. Their hold shell. There is a farmer pulling off with his ATV in front of me. Excuse me. Okay, he's pulled off. Um, it's all these farm like vehicles and things. It's awesome. I love our farmers. Like seriously, one day I want to be a farmer because I think they have the coolest. It looks amazing to be able to do what they do. Anyways, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop rambling and get back to the point, which is um, how much water have you had today? You need to chug some more water. Drink it. Oh, hey, so I'm back. I had to call one of the smartest people I know, which is my sister. She is a smarty pants. Hi, sister. She's probably watching this. Um, so these pumpkin seeds, you can't eat them whole. I've been eating them correctly the entire time. My husband was wrong, and I was right. Per wiki and Google, I can just pop these suckers whole. Now my next question is, it said it was one ounce equals a fourth of the whole seed or a one third of it being the seed part with zero net carbs. Now that's my next question I'm gonna have to research is how many net carbs, I don't believe it's zero net carbs. I really don't think that that's possible. So I'm gonna research that when I get home of how many net carbs I've actually consumed because I have probably had a, a fourth a cup now. So this will make it a fourth a cup. It's so good. It really relieves me to know that I've been eating them properly the entire time. You can eat them whole per Googie. Google and Wiki. Anyways, um, I will see y'all soon. Hello. It feels like it's midnight, but it's only eight o'clock here. So my food ending for the day was what I had earlier. I think that was pumpkin seeds, but now I can't remember. It's late to me. And again, it feels like it's midnight, but it's not. I'm drinking my Pellegrino and I'm calling it a day. Today was a very successful keto day. Got my body movement in, chased my son around. It's been awesome and I'm wishing you a powerful day. I hope you have a great day and if you like this video consider liking it, giving it a thumbs up, subscribing and sharing it with a friend and um, check out our description link below. We do, um, I do coaching through Mom's Keto Kitchen and also um, the Countess of Low Carb. We have coaching groups there too. So would love if you're interested in being with other individuals who are on keto. It's awesome. So wishing you a good night. Bye. Thank you.